Hey guys, what's up? Shandabear here, and we are going to continue our Batman Telltale Games playthrough. And I'm super, super duper looking forward to it. I'm so, I feel bad for where I cut it off, because like, you know, you just, you want to keep going with it, but it's back. Don't worry, we're back. It's okay. Batman. Loading. Loading. Rawr. <laughs> oh no, you're cut. Ah. It's me. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> See, purple looks great. I'm stoked about my choice. <laughs> Got that suit over there. Realm of Shadows. Noise. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Aww. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with break-in and entry incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. Oh, sad. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh yeah. May have actually been involved in the break in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations? Okay, I guess we'll do this. Access it. Oh, it's okay, codex access. Oh neat. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So you can find out more info. You're now on day three of the factory fires and will not end. Updated. My bad. I want to exit. Oh, right click to exit. Okay, I was like, I'm done. Oh, cool, we can walk. Okay. Movie tickets, let's look at them. Oh, sad. <sighs> sad moment. Alright, let's take a look at this. Nearly fell off a building for this? Yep. It's the best. You seriously just put it in your pocket? Analyze the data, drive at that computer. Main screen, okay. Data port, analyze it. Let's do this. It's gonna have a bear pewter. This is my bear pewter. This is my bear sweater. Find out what was so important. I was kind of hoping he was gonna jam it in there. <laughs> Encrypted. Oh. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. Look at this in a room. Dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I love I'm computers. You know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. <laughs> Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Sounds right. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try Screen. a different.
What? That is so cool. What am I... I don't know what to do, but I mean, I did it. Let me try a different angle and explain nothing. This is a map of the east side oh. shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. Yeah, no, we're at zero percent. Gonna have a party, yo. I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Yeah, and the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be ha. pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Good. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah. Thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought had they feeling. ruined Gotham's stellar yeah. reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. No, people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. I will check the codex. Aw, oh, man. Alright. Catwoman. Found her. Because we're smart like that. New criminal on the scene. Tried to... Wait. Tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Oh, I have a feeling we met her the other night. Oh, no, I don't. No. Mm -mm. Previous menu. No. Previous menu. Not much to find, apparently. Didn't he write it? How, how do you think he... Seems to lay pretty low. <laughs> You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. Yeah. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Yeah. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. Oh, hmm. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right. You're right. You're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. Aw, he's sweet. I know you're only looking out for If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. <laughs> Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Thank you. Oh, no. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Oh, my gosh. No, Arlo. No. We were no. in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Oh Some no! Discharge illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Hmm, oh, troubling. He's returning now, I I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes mm -hmm, back to town. Mm -hmm. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. <laughs> Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll Very be true. careful, Alfred. 
When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Oh no! It's gonna be terrible! Cobblepot Park. Oh no, we're late! 6.06 a.m.? Kind of look like you rolled his eyes. <laughs> Where are you, Oz? Yeah, man. What happened to you? Yeah, that's right. We made the papers with that shunning. That's awesome. Graffiti. I mean, we're already late. What's the trouble in looking at stuff? Homeless person. I guess it looks... Eh. I might be just rude to just be like, here, have some money. Let's go and examine him. Oh, he's got a cup out. Unless he was drinking from that. That's my water, you jerk! <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Aww. Oh, nice barrel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Warm. <sighs> Great. Statue, but no odds. Well, oh, he's running late. Later than we were. Let's go look at more stuff. Like that bench. Nice bench. Oh, shopping cart. Fancy. Don't see many like that. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Smoking man. Hey. Hey. Huh? <laughs> Beat it. You. Look grumpy. Boom. Okay. It's not gonna happen again. <laughs> Graffiti. Ooh, stylish. Oh, he doesn't like. I mean, oh god. Oh, a thing. A plaque. It isn't what it used to be. This old park, it ain't what it used to be. Ain't what it used to be. Ain't oh, more graffiti. But I, don't, I don't feel like we really look at it, though. We just look at him not liking it. Hmm. <laughs> it's not that great. I'll stop looking at graffiti. Um, I'd like. There you go. Hi, statue! Oh, you're just gonna be loud out there, aren't you? Stabbed. Oh Watch God, he does. Oh. Cash. Hey, we said hi I'm to you. Brood. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Go ahead. Try and take it. Boom. The hell you say? You heard me. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. Oh, Moral accent. Mate, now I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. The moment! Oh. Come here. I think that'll do. Oh, oh, okay. I just went for it anyway. Cool, cool, good. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's that's okay. Hmm. And it Dunsies. Ooh. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh my god. Come on, man. Oh jeez. Okay. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? 
That bush in the park is my bush. Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. <laughs> that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. True that. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. I don't want to, like, shame yeah. him. Those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Not even gonna offer some, that's Mom cool. Committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. Hmm. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I kinda think he wants like a pity party, now so let's just all I got let's go for park. it. I'm I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Yeah. And checked. Just kidding. <laughs> I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Oh, I was surprised By too. Yourself, right at home. That oily. Oh, wish I could have punched that grin into the back I don't, it's, of his I don't care. I'm gonna say it. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Balcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... Mm. Maybe a tree to watch him at pavement. Woo, he's a little crazy. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Yeah. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. Knock, and I'm here knock, to let knock it in. on Gotham's door. Which brings me to you, Bruce. Sure. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Not your I'm enemy. Not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? What happened? We were just talking about being kid I've friends got and great stuff. affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Rude. Good seeing you, Bruce. But I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Rude. Just throw a rock at his head. Busy guy. Busy guy. Statue looks cross eyed. Oh, beautiful. Wait, so what are they getting rid of? Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. 
This way. Bruce, Bruce. Come Morning, on. everyone. There you go. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it oh. opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally Derp. insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And we're still those who do get We're good at texting. God they can pull this escape, off. Are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham oh. Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. Yay. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? I need to make a call. Be right back. My parents loved Gotham. They yeah. invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. Mostly blood. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, <laughs> I made myself sad. my parents took me to see a movie about a hero and a mask. <sighs> it was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice. No matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Hmm. With this facility and our next mayor. We change Gotham. Yeah. Why do they look down? Makes me worried. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Woo! I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. We're supposed to call him. What you happened first, to that? Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I, uh, I think Arkham okay. has only done harm to God. <laughs> made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources Hi. say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Ah! Uh, ugh! I don't make okay. friends okay. with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question. So much please. pressure. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! <laughs> But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Dun dun dun. Care to comment? You suck. Oh, it's not. And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Brutal! Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? <laughs> Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. 
Yeah, yeah, animals. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh no! Oh, I think we'll cut it off right there. We made some tough choices. I don't know if like that's the way you're supposed to handle the press. I've never dealt with the press myself. I've never had the... You know, the press. I've never had that. So, um... Hopefully we dealt with that properly. I'm not quite sure. But, I love you guys. And I'll see you next time. So much love! Bye!